Okay, so the first one I have to show is about mesh fusion, uh, about some new functionalities about compound trim. So the compound trim is the item in the bonding box here. Uh, before, when we were adding, uh, for example, this sphere to the compound trim, it was adding to the wall fusion item and not inside of the compound trim only. So now when you click here on the add primary, it will add directly inside the, the command twin. So first it will get the item inside the locator. And if you look here, you have the, um, the schematic from, uh, from the sphere to the assembly only, so to the command twin. Uh, as you can see, the, um, the flat box here is as an input inactive. Um, if you, so I will go back a bit. If you do the same with part of the trim, of the coupon trim, so wait, go back. Okay, so now I go back to the first tape. If you do the same with part of the content, so for example, the flat box, and you do the apply trim, you see that the flat box is now as an input and not more inactive input of the fusion intersection. So it's uh, the first step is to get that compound trim have more functionality inside. And also that the trim and trim here, if you select these two, the trim and trim is also part of the compound trim and not generic one. So if I do that, I have the flat box that's going from input to input inactive and the reverse is also true. So this is the path for mesh fusion, if you have any question. If I could, yeah, just toss in a, a comment, not a question, yeah. It's, uh, it's good stuff just to kind of uh, refresh everybody, because uh, I know not everybody's really familiar with mesh fusion and compound trims especially, but uh, a compound trim is almost like you're trimming using a fusion item as your trim. It's like you build a fusion item and then you trim with it. And that's very important. There's certain kinds of trimming that you can't do any other way. And what Remy has helped us accomplish here is, is that, that now you really, you can edit that compound trim in all of the same ways you would edit a fusion item, which is the way it should be, because that's sort of how we want the user to think about it. They're creating a, a cutting shape using fusion methods. So now all of it, before, before we, before Remy made these uh, improvements, uh, there was only a very limited degree to which you could do that. Now, now it's, it's unless I'm missing something, I think, I think it's complete. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice little bump for mesh fusion.